this, the CX-1000 and the CRX-10 from uh, Fanec, this system comes in and it installs usually in less than a day, and then training is as little as two days, and you've got an operator, just an operator that's never really played with a robot before, is able to program the next part for them to run. Mr. Tony Gunn. How are we doing? Did you Good. think you had to do that on your own? I did not. Well, I know you can, which is why I was <laughs> way over there having a drink. But it's very good to see you. It is always a pleasure to see you. So let's get started in the conversation. We're standing right. in front of a really cool automated cell, but potentially just as cool, if not cooler, is the machine behind it. We'll let cooler. the audience decide which is cooler <laughs> by it's, the it's end cooler. of these conversations we're having today. But what I love about what I'm seeing here is I see two turrets, I see two spindles, and I immediately start thinking about how many things I can do on one machine. Is that our focus today? This is a done in one machine. This machine can start with either a bar feed or an automation system, and you can actually finish a part complete and not have a person standing in front of it all day long. So this machine is about done in one. I'm gonna ask you a rudimentary question. I'm gonna ask you a basic question. I'm gonna ask you an obvious question. Okay. Yesterday I'm playing Captain Obvious a little <laughs> bit. And when you say done in one, when you say we're able to do everything one and get it out for shipping, ultimately yeah. the people who invest in this technology are creating potentially more floor space by reducing the machines they're using, yes, that's the ability to reduce operator error, and ultimately probably make more money, maybe less scrap pieces. There's a lot that's that right. goes into it for the audience watching going, well, why would I trade out what I own already and go with this? Well, there's lots of reasons why they're gonna make money right yes, away, isn't yes. there? Well, human intervention. I mean, every customer that I've ever talked to says, I would love to buy your machine, but I can't afford to put a person in front of it. Well, guess what? This machine, you do not have to put a person in front of it. Think about, you know, all the operating costs that a, that a that an operator would cost you. That does not go into this particular product. Yes, you have to have somebody who knows how to set it up and program it and operate it, but when it's running, it's making parts, and that's what's important. And Jeff, if it's okay with you, I'd like to talk to the audience real quick because there is still, whether it's fortunate or unfortunate, but there is still a group of people out there who believe that robots, cobots, bar feed, pallet change, automation systems are taking their jobs. And guys, that's just not the case. Uh, what Jeff is talking case. about when you don't need a person in front of it, it's because we don't have the people. We're exactly. trying to do more. With, and wouldn't you agree yes. that it's about that? It's about being able to do more with that singular yes. person we have and allow that one person to make yes. more money on multiple machines. We, we train uh, customers all the time. And what we see from our customers and the in input of data that we get from our industry is that the amount of people in the, in the industry is going down year over year over year. So our customers know typically today that cut, that operators are hard to find. So they we don't really need to sell them on that. What they really need to understand is now we have a product that meets their need that they don't have to pay somebody to stand here because they can't find somebody to pay them to stand here. So that's a, a great part about this particular product. Very, very well said, Jeff. Now, I know YCM has, the YCM Alliance has some incredible partners. Would you happen to have anyone here today that could deep dive a little bit more into this Aceta cell setup? I think I do have somebody. Well, I would love to meet them and talk a little bit more with the audience. Would you, you mind, mind grabbing them for I'll me? I'll grab them. I would appreciate back. that. Guys, I have a really great expert who's gonna join us on camera. Wait, what's his? Oh, hey, Mark, Tony, how I hear you were looking for Mark the Robot Man. Mark the Robot Man. How many of you know Mark as Mark the Robot? Probably all of you. I don't even need to ask that question. So we're talking automation. I was just talking with Jeff. We talked about putting you know, a job on a machine and have a done in one right away. But we also talked a little bit about automation and the importance of automation. So we did dive into that a little bit. Would you mind describing what's going on here with this cell? Yeah, so with this cell right here, we've got a pegboard full of parts that are loaded into the lathe. Um, and what it does is it, it's communicating with the lathe uh, very quickly and it's making sure that the spindle is turning as often as possible. So we're always making parts. We don't have a delay between one part to another. And so there's a lot of productivity increases and gains when a customer uses a system like this with one of these great lathes. My cobots in my brain are running around right now trying to trying to keep up with all of the great benefits that we're talking about. And one thing that pops up, and we have conversations on this channel a lot with so many successful people who have implemented Aceta and FANUC and robotics and automation, but it still comes up, and I would say really regularly with how easy is it to set up? How much training goes into it? How much downtime do I have before I actually get it running? Right, and those are great questions. And, and you know, for a system like this, a CX-1000 
and the CRX-10 from uh, Fanec, this system comes in and it installs usually in less than a day, and then training is as little as two days, and you've got an operator, just an operator that's never really played with a robot before, is able to program the next part for them to run. So, so to bring it into a shop, a small shop even, they can have the system up and running inside of three days and they never have to talk to anybody again. It's a great system and a great tool for a small shop. Unless of course they want to because you guys are so friendly they can talk to you again. You but they never have to. <laughs> no, no. Well, for the next one and the one after that, absolutely. There Tell me, you we're go. always ready. So when I'm thinking about this, and again my cobots are still running in my head, talking with Jeff. We say, okay, we're done in one, we're knocking parts off. So I'd like to elaborate this conversation because I know Aceta quite well. I know the, the depth and the conversations we've had and the customers that you've helped in so many different avenues of automation. So we're looking at a cell, we're not doing this today, but if I wanted to, we've now multitasked the machine, two spindles, two turrets, we have a complete part coming off. The cobot is doing that for us, pulling it off the right. machine, but we could actually add other systems into this if we wanted to. We could add a measuring cell. We could put it, you know, pretty much as much as creative as we want to be, we can add on to this. Sure, we can. And and we work with a lot of manufacturers for CMMs, for marking systems, for inspection systems. We work with a system right now where we're taking a part and putting it in the air gauge to check the ID on the part. So So we can add so much to it not only that, but we can put a cell with two lays, you know, facing one another so I can go from uh, maybe an OP10 to an OP20 and then to a CMM, then to a marking system, and then to a conveyor out to the next process for the application. You know, Mark, you know what I like almost as much as, as your smile and your personality and your wisdom? What's that? The service that comes with Aceta oh, yeah. as well. When I was talking with our mutual friend, Robbie, we're talking 24 hours, seven days a week. Would you mind conveying that piece of information to the audience as well? Yeah, absolutely. So our service group is made up of you know 15 to 20 people that are always ready. So within a phone call, you're talking to an applications engineer, a service engineer, and from that phone call, you can have someone on site within 24 hours. So we are always on the phone. We're always ready to help. And, and as a FANUC integrator, the level that we are, we're able to get to every part of the robot and repair anything that the FANUC reps can do, we can do just as well. And also our integration with FANUC is so tight that when we do run into challenges, they're right behind us all the time. So yeah, our friend Robbie, he's always taking care of us and he's always making sure we're ready to help our customers. Perfectly said, my friend, for everyone watching, if you have more questions about automation, if you have more questions about YCM Alliance, leave it in the comments, give these guys a buzz. We'll be happy to connect you through MTD CNC or just give my buddy Mark a call. Everyone knows him anyway, right? <laughs> you bet, Mark the Robot Man, here to help. Thanks there a lot. There you go. Appreciate you, buddy. Thanks, Tony.